All right, time. All right, y'all. Story time. Story time. Now, I want to tell you this story that happened like around 2009, 2010. It had been around that time. Now, at this time, at this particular time, I'm working at the pizza shop, right? And I'm making deliveries. I'm making rounds. Now, like I told you, around this time, the street theater didn't exist. There was no red cars, white cars, synchronizations, color code and tactics. People wearing a whole bunch of people wearing red around me. People synchronizing with me, follow me from from left to right, from right to left. None of that activity was going on in 2009, 2010. So, but like I said, I was always being harassed by police. Always. And they used to always come by, you know, the shop. At the time, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, why are there so many police around me? I used to always ask, you know what I'm saying, that question. But at the time, I didn't know that they was basically just slowly introducing me to the program. And it was just a matter of time for them to activate the situation, activate, turn on the switch or whatever, and boom, now you're in full-blown broadcast gang stock assimilation, which happened in 2016. So, but going back to 2009, 2010, I was uh, making, I was making a delivery. Now, at this time, it was nighttime. I think it was like around nine o'clock, whatever time it was. I don't know, but I just know it was dark outside. So I'm making the delivery to this Chinese man, right? It was an Asian man, the Chinese, Japanese, whatever he was, but he was Asian. And I had this big behind bag. Cause he ordered it. He ordered a pretty large amount of food. So when I pulls up, I double park on the side of the road. I mind you, I seen the police officer over there in the cut at the light. So I said, oh, I said, oh, I said, look at this. We got a, We got a pig over there. So they sat there, right? Even when the light turned green, they still remained there. So they watched me get out. Hand the Asian dude the bag of food, right? The Asian dude gave me the money. He went on by his way. I went on by my way. I'm I'm getting in my car. I'm looking at the pigs. They still sitting over there, staring. I get in my car. As soon as I get in my car, I put the car in drive. By the time I put the car in drive, these pigs just drove right in front of me and cut me and just like drove their car right in front of my car so I wouldn't go nowhere. Now, at the time, both of the pigs jumped out of the car. Two piggies. One piggy was black. One piggy was white. The black piggy was the one driving. The back, the black piggy was the one that was dressed in full uniform. The piggy on the passenger side was an undercover narc. And when he jumped out of the car, they both had their guns out drawn, right? And the piggy that was the narc was dressed dirty. Now, now I, I thought about train I thought about training day. It, it reminded me of training day. It was just like a Denzel and and the white bull. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when the when the white piggy jumped out, he was dressed down and dirty, like as if he was like a fake um, drug addict, a fake, um, you know, somebody that was on coke, heroin, crack, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because they they have those out here in the, in this day of time. I don't even know if they even still exist in today's time, but I know back in the day they always had some type of undercover narc that you when you was out this is this is another reason how they took took down a lot of um you know ex drug dealers that was out there in the game back in the day they would put a lot of narcs out there to get you and and so whoever sold to this narc dude they doing they they done did some time at that time you know what I'm saying because because that's just what they do you know what I'm saying they they would send they would send out these these agents, and it's always usually like some dirty white boy. He had dirty blonde hair and a dirty jean set on. And um, 
when he jumped out the car that like I said they both had their guns drawn now to me they exposed themselves because you know you know I now I knew I never seen that dude again you know gratefully right neither one of them you know what I'm saying but if anybody that was out there selling drugs to these cats you don't you got busted cuz you were selling drugs to an undercover narc so so like I said the narc dude approached my my driver's side with the gun drawn and the black piggy went to chase down the Asian guy to see what I gave him. So, so, um, the, the white piggy, the dirty white piggy, when he had his, he had his gun drawn, he was, he was screaming, um, get out of the car, get out of the car. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, put the window down, whatever he was saying. And I'm sitting there looking at him like, I had my, my hands up, you know what I'm saying, inside the car. And you could see, I guess you could see through my car. My, I had a little slight tent on my window. I was driving a Cougar at the time. You know what I'm saying? I had a tent on my window, but you, I'm pretty, you could see through my tent because my tent wasn't that bad. But it was still dark outside. So I'm screaming back at him, I got to put the car in park. But as, as you can see, my gear is on, you know, is on the transmission. So I got to put my hand down, you know what I'm saying? So I'm screaming back at this fool, the piggy, saying, I got to put my car in park. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, he like, get out of the car, get out of the car. So, so finally, when I was able to put the car in park, um, I don't know if he opened up my door or I opened up my door. I don't remember it, but I know I ended up getting out the car. And the black cop, the black piggy, when he came back at the um, seeing what I gave to the Chinese dude, he realized it was food. So he's like, he come back looking all dumb, looking at me. And and I'm standing outside like, what the hell's going on? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, y'all sat there and y'all watched me get his, get his man the food and y'all going to come here and do this dumb crap. And they looking at me like, oh, well, we, we, we didn't know what you was doing. We didn't know what you was doing. And I was like, man, I want y'all bad numbers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want y'all bad numbers and all this, right? I'm out here snapping at these bulls, right? <laughs> and um, but like I said, make a long story short, I, I couldn't even, I don't even remember their names, nothing like that, right? So they got in the car, they leave, I leave. I go back to the shop, I'm telling everybody about it. Nobody believes me. Everybody think I'm just bluffing, right? Because I was getting targeted left and right. I always had a war story when it came to these these crack these these crooked cracker ass behind police officers, and not just crackers, but even the black ones too, the Negroes. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a a short story of what I've been through by 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 just simply delivering pizza. You know what I'm saying? Like always being um you know stereotyped. Here come the hiccups again. You know what I'm saying? I'm always being stereotyped and assumed, you know what I'm saying, that I was, you know, out there selling drugs or whatever. But the but the point is is that why did you wait? You sat there and you literally saw me hand a big bag. It was a brown paper bag to an Asian man. Now, who now how there's no in the world that could have been drugs, okay? Nobody hands off a big brown paper bag of food. Or should I say drugs to an individual? You know what I'm saying? If you if you know anything about street life, when you're making a drug sale, you know what I'm saying? If you, especially if you're doing it in public, it's usually a handshake. You know what I'm saying? You 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 already got like a little, you know, got the narcotics in your hand, you 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 slap the hands. They pad, they slip you the money, you slip them the drugs, and it's on and popping. It it basically from a distance it always looks like a handshake. So these cops right here were just stupid. That's all. They was just stupid. You know what I'm saying? And they just wanted to just run up on me and I guess do a fear tactic or whatever the whatever the, the scenario was. To this day I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? But they both had their guns drawn. You know what I'm saying? And it just let me know over and over and over 
how protected I always have been. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just one. This is just one of many. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of 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 um me dealing with these pigs out here in in in, in Pennsylvania. You know what I'm saying? So in the state of Pennsylvania. So uh, so I just wanted to let just, you know, bring that to y'all, bring it to your awareness. If anybody had experienced this type of um harassment with police, whatever, leave a comment. I want to hear your story. Let it be a real genuine story. Don't be lying. Don't be making up stories. Oh yeah, man, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. You talking about the police, man. They had me all on the ground. You know, don't be just lying. All right. Tell a genuine story, man. If you have not been harassed, then just be happy that you haven't. Don't don't try to fit in to this uh this narrative if you don't fit in because it's it's not a pleasant thing you know this ain't this this don't have nothing to do with bragging rights this don't have nothing to do with oh i just want i just want to share my war stories because i'm proud and no, i'm not proud of none of this crap okay i wish none of this never even happened but everything happened for a reason and 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 by these things was happening it also let me know too to never trust the so-called law you know what I'm saying? It it really, really um gave me a bad sour taste to the law enforcement. Because because I, I, I know, you know, when you see it all the time on TV about innocent people getting shot and killed by these pigs, you know what I'm saying? You know, trust me, they're never there at the right time. They're never there to really, really stop, you know, real criminals. They in fact they are the real criminals, you know what I'm saying? You know. And right now my right palm is itching. I don't, you know, I don't know. They always say money coming, but I don't know about all that. <laughs> See, my, I haven't had my right palm itch in a long time. But, um, you know, but don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Tell me your testimony if you got any, you know what I'm saying, any type of police brutality, any type of harassment. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Holla back, DB Gang, Stalking Simulation, the best channel on YouTube.